Hey, what's up, everybody? Jonathan here, and uh, today we're doing a mod showcase, and this is FDR Logging's uh, Bucksaw Loader. This just came out today for public. Uh, if you're a Patreon member of his uh, uh, machines and whatever, uh, you can probably would have gotten this uh, a little bit before. But uh, anyway, he just came out with this. Uh, I just downloaded it, like, I mean, probably 10 minutes ago. So I'm looking at it for the first time. I think I've figured out all the controls. Uh, I don't have a map to my joy to key to make it work exactly right, but I think we can make it work. Okay, so, uh, and first of all, I just, I just want to excuse my, my voice and all that. I'm still trying to get over some of this sinus congestion stuff, so I may be coughing a bit, but just bear with me. <coughs> so anyway, this is uh, FDR Logging's Bucksaw Loader, and uh, everybody's been kind of looking forward to this for a while because there is, isn't anything like this in the game. And so what this does, let me show you, uh, get this grapple out of the way, then we can kind of look around. But of course there's not really anything in the interior to talk about, but basically it's a trailer mounted loader. I've already moved my truck I had to get it over here. And it's got a buck saw on it, so you can load logs onto the bed of this thing and then cut them off to length and then offload them to a trailer or you know, log trailer, whatever. Okay, so the way this thing works is uh, the bed on this thing actually moves. So I've figured out that if I hit a certain key on my uh, joysticks, it'll move it out. So you can see there, and it extends out pretty far. I think, I'm not sure what the meter length is on that, but it probably fits one of his trailers, probably the long loader. And then you can slide it back to cut off the next section. Okay, so we'll give that a try. I'll extend it all now. I'm not sure what, what length of logs these things are. I was trying to get them cut as long as I could, and it wouldn't let me change the cut length. So let's see if we can grab something here. Uh oh, yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, I'm not using my normal setup, so I can't really judge how tight I'm squeezing. Let's see if we can do better than that. Oops. Ah. Yeah, I'm not using my normal setup, so I'm not familiar with all these buttons. Try to do better than that. There's a couple of them. All right, let's give that a try. Okay, so <coughs> we've got three of uh, three logs on here, and it's fully extended. And now I couldn't figure out on my joysticks what buttons made the buck saw work because uh, I just didn't have everything set up correctly. But on my keyboard, it's uh, the number six on the keypad actually 
Well, first you got to turn the saw on, so we'll hit B. Alright, so there goes the saw. And then we can just hit 6 on the keypad, and then it'll lower the saw. It looks like we completely missed the logs. <laughs> Alright, well, no big deal. We'll just bring the saw back. And let's try that again. Alright, cool. So it got through all of them. You heard the beep, 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 and then uh, that mean it went through all three of them. So now we can turn the saw off and get our grapple loader back down from space. And uh, we'll pick up our logs, hopefully. There we go. And see, then we could offload them to a trailer or to, to whatever. So that's pretty cool. I can't get my tilt to work. I don't know if he's disabled it. I can't remember if he disabled it for this one or not, but you see the, the grapple will spin and of course it'll open and close, but I can't get it to tilt. I'm not sure if he disabled that. can't remember. Anyway, this is a pretty cool little machine. Uh, I probably will, will be using it some. Although I probably won't, will not be using it to buck logs because uh, uh, down here in the south, uh, you do see a lot of log loaders like this on trailers. But uh, in fact, uh, a lot like this. But of course, you won't you won't have this saw, and you won't have all these little uh, I don't know what are all these things little support log supports, whatever you want to call them. Those won't be on there. But down here on the end, what you will see is a delimmer. and so the operators will pick up small trees or even sometimes medium to large size trees not not so much large but mostly you know you see it a lot in first thinnings and and medium uh thinnings and stuff like that second or third thinnings but then when you usually get up into the big logs you know you see something else but anyway uh what you'll see on the end down here is a uh, delimmer so the operator will pick up the logs with the grapple of course and then They'll put them into the delimmer and run them back and forth, and it'll uh, delim all the little small limbs off of there. And then usually there's a little saw on there too that the they'll run them in there, delim them, get them to the right length, and then run the saw and cut them off. And then all the little tops just fall over here somewhere. And usually a skitter or a loader or something come back around, pick them up, and move them somewhere else. But you won't see this big saw, so. I don't know. I, I probably am going to uh, go into Giants Editor and remove some of these things. I'll remove these little side supports and I probably will remove the saw too because I, I won't use that. But the, the loader is pretty cool and it's really heavy too. I was using uh, this Peterbilt truck right over here that ordinarily I mean, it, it, it just wants to run. I mean, it, it jumps and goes when you first fire it up and take off. So watch this. You know, that thing goes. But you load up this trailer, and it does not want to go. <laughs> that sucker is heavy. Oops. And I'm also still on the wrong Joy to Key profile. So that should help. Alright, so there it is hooked up to a truck. <coughs> and you can see how, how slow this truck's going. And I'm, I'm completely off the gas and brake now, and it's just pushing me, or pulling me, actually. 
So you got to be careful moving this thing around unless you've got a real heavy truck. See, it's even trying to lift the front end of the truck off the ground. <laughs> this trailer is heavy. In fact, here, here here's a good test. We'll, we'll do this for fun. So we'll get going uh, pretty good little speed here. I'm going to get down here and turn around. And then uh, I'll get up to, uh, let's see, well, I've even got the hoods off. There we go. I'll try to get up to about 30 miles an hour. We'll see how, if I can get that, that far. In fact, I think I'm going to go this way. See, it's, it's even pushing the front end. Okay, so let's try to get up to about 30 miles an hour, and then I'm going to hit the brakes, and I'll tell you exactly when I hit the brakes, and we'll see how long it takes to stop. We may not even get to 30 miles an hour. We'll do 25. Okay, so I'm on the brakes now. Still on the brakes. Still on the brakes. And you can see how long it took to stop. So we hit the brakes uh, before we left the pavement. And it took that far to stop just going 25 miles an hour. <laughs> so this thing is extremely heavy. <coughs> But anyway, you can download this uh, machine off of FDR Logging's uh, boards. He's got a, a message board website now, and I'll have the link to the description or link in the description where you can download this. So this is a pretty cool little machine. I I'm liking it, uh, except for uh, you know I probably won't use the buck saw part of it. Uh, I will probably go in the giants and take off the little supports and the saw itself. And just use it as a log loader because I think that's uh, will be pretty cool. That's mostly what I see around here where I live anyway. Sometimes you'll see track loaders, but most of the time it's just these uh, trailer mounter loaders. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this mod showcase. This is FDR Logging's Buck Saw Loader, and. Uh, yeah, so download it, give it a try, and I'll be using it in some upcoming videos. Probably, uh, let's see, I'll probably start using it maybe on Pacific Inlet. I don't know. I'm thinking about possibly starting up a second login operation on that map. So we'll have to see. But anyway, this is a pretty cool little machine, and uh, I'm looking forward to using it. FDR Logging's Bucksaw Loader. And so this is Jonathan, Mod Showcase, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.